Lesson 1.1 Patient Choice Healthcare is a service. It's also a big business, generating billions of dollars each year. Most people have never stopped to consider that healthcare is a business. In fact, most healthcare organizations are for profit businesses, concerned with profitability as well as patient care. Much like other services that require customers to make a profit, healthcare needs to be concerned with its image. It is their image that will attract and retain customers. How does a business create an image? What factors determine whether a business is good or bad? Most people will consider things like cleanliness, overall environment, ease of access, and even price as important factors. But even the cleanest, prettiest, cheapest, easiest to get to business will not get customers if its workers are not pleasant, knowledgeable, or professional. This is especially important in healthcare. In short, you matter. Service perceptions are largely defined by the workers, not the corporation. Think of your past healthcare experiences. Were they good or bad? Chances are you're probably thinking about the people who provided the service rather than the building you went to, how close it was to your home, or even the parking. You were probably seen by a doctor or a nurse, received treatment, and paid a portion of the bill. Were they polite, courteous, knowledgeable, pleasant, and concerned about your time? Did they address you by name and smile? If so, then you probably felt pretty good about your encounter. Now, if your caregivers were rude, short-tempered, made you wait a long time, and refused to answer questions, would it still be a good experience? Even though you were still seen by a doctor or a nurse, received treatment, and made payment just like above? See, it's not the actual treatment that generally helps us form a positive or negative opinion, but the attitude, dress, manner, and approach of the people who provided that treatment. Why do we need to know this? Because healthcare is a for profit business and relies on customers to generate income to pay its bills, including payroll. Let's assume for a moment that there are two doctor's offices next door to each other. At the first office, the staff is not concerned about how its customers are treated. They're rude. The average wait time is over an hour. There's never an apology or an explanation, and they charge the same price as the office next door. At the other office, the staff seems to care about their patient. They learn the names of their regular customers. They always have a smile and apologizes if the wait is longer than 20 minutes. Which office do you want to go to? In healthcare, patients can choose who they receive their care from. They can choose one hospital over another, one doctor over another. They can pick a certain lab, select a specific diagnostic imaging center, etc. If the provider they choose does not treat them right, they may not come back and they'll usually look for another provider. If a provider loses enough customers due to a bad reputation, it may have to lay off employees because they don't have enough patients to care for. Not having enough patients may also mean less money for supplies, equipment, and even payroll. Customer service is important for many reasons, but competition is the real factor here. There's a lot of competition in healthcare. Open a phone book to the physician heading. How many are listed? What about hospitals? Is there more than one in your community? When patients have a choice, they'll choose the option that is both competent and caring. If all your patients choose to go elsewhere, will your employer still need you? Will you be able to find another job when the other health care establishments are aware of the reputation your facility had for uncaring, rude staff members? Will they take a chance on hiring you and put their reputation on the line because they don't know if you are one of the rude ones? Probably not. Have you ever heard from a friend, family member, or neighbor that one doctor or hospital in your area is worse than another? 
What criteria did they use to make that determination? If the service is not good, the customer may perceive that the product is not good either. This is so true in healthcare. After a bad experience with a rude healthcare worker, many people will automatically begin to question the physical care that that worker provided. There are many reasons to provide good customer service. Your reputation, your job, and your patient depends on you making the right choice and providing good service all the time.